All right, here we go, guys. A 51 degree cold June morning in Eastern Long Island. Doing another uh, Boats by the Side of the Road video. We got some tips. Uh, Doc gave me a tip of a boat west of here. And Wayne gave me a tip about a boat in my hometown of Mattituck on a street I don't recall ever being on. It's apparently a mile and a half from where I am right now on the main road in Mattituck. So we're going to give that a look at first. I wanted to take a quick second to acknowledge everyone in the last video who pointed out that I should consider buying a moisture meter. Uh, Captain Dave, I think, said it first, and then a couple people chimed in and said, you'd be surprised at what you see. I did price them out on Amazon. I almost ordered one, but I got cold feet, and I will tell you why. Number one, uh, you know, I'm not a trained marine surveyor. I don't want to screw anything up. Number two, I have read many reports online of some of these moisture readers giving all false signals and you know number three i don't want to screw anyone up if it is a false signal and prevent a boat from being sold because an untrained professional using a moisture meter read that uh you know there's 30 percent uh moisture reading in the transom or wherever and it, it proved to be a false positive. Apparently false positives are part and parcel of using moisture meters. So I don't want that liability for those reasons. Uh, you know, it's going to be what it's always been, which is just a visual, quick two, three minute inspection of the boat, try to get the price, things like that, and get my thoughts at the end. Uh, so we'll pick this up again in about, uh, per the GPS, two minutes, where we are at the first boat. Oh, almost drove by it. Here it is, little aluminum boat. Wow. Uh-oh, we got a dog screaming. Hey, it's a 1971 Sears 12 footer, Johnson nine and a half horsepower. There's the phone number, 900 bucks with trailer. No title on the trailer, I don't think that's a big deal. These people, the dog is screaming in here. These people are gonna come out any second, either that or I'm waking them up very early on a Sunday morning. Cool little boat for 900 bucks. If you could water test it and make sure it's not leaking, this would be all right. Even if you had to put a new engine in it, you just wanna get on the water. And the nostalgia factor too of a Sears, Look at that old Johnson Seahorse, nine and a half horsepower. And the nine and a half horsepower designations, for those of you that don't know, many lakes had uh, a rule. You can't uh, have an outboard powered boat with over 10 horsepower. So a lot of these manufacturers detuned in quotes, their tens and 15s to nine and a half to get around those rules. Really cool boat, 920 bucks. So the number, yep, 917-843-0579. Coolio, all right. Let's, uh, let's go check out a boat Doc found uh, about 10 miles west of here, a Proline, which he used to own. We'll leave beautiful Grand Avenue in Mattituck now. Okie dokie, I was on my way to see that first boat, or that second boat, the Proline that Doc saw. And I passed another little tiny tin boat and I'm like, why not? I could have looked at this on the way back, so I got a double back, but that's okay. Now this is really small. See, I thought that first boat was, that Sears boat was small. This is even smaller. Let's see what we got. Oh, I believe we're in Jamesport. Uh, we just passed Laurel. We're on the main road in, in uh, the North Fork. Here it is on our right. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's tiny. 
What the heck is this? All right, let's see what we got. This is unique. All right, I don't even know how to describe this. Just look at this. It's a 12 foot John boat, call for price. There's the number. Looks like this could be a nice little duck boat. It's got like a sea deck material on it. It is aluminum. It's got a little trailer, a sea lion trailer. If I had to guess, maybe 10, 11, 12 feet. Oh boy. Here's the kicker. It's got a force marine on it. Why not just include the price? Look at this little bracket here. This is interesting. An integrated welded little bracket. Almost like a pop a, a prop pocket. And uh, the uh, propeller sits in between it. All right. Very cool, unique boat. I'm not sure I'm going to call for the price, but I, I'd imagine it'd be right around the same price as the other one. Uh, does it have a hin? It does have a hin. It's a 74. And a D-E-M? Is that D-E-M? It's hard to read that. It's D-E something. Could be M. Let's see if we can look it up on the hin identifier tool. There you go, 1974 John boat, no price. All right, let's go find that pro line. All right, we're entering, I th is this Aquabogue? I think we're in Aquabogue now. And I believe this is where Doc said that pro line would be. Doc's a buddy of mine, for those of you that don't watch my fishing videos. And there's an old bait and tackle store up here called Warren's. It's right here. Uh, been here forever. There's the boat. And unfortunately, Warren's closed this winter. The gentleman who ran Warren's passed away. And uh, he ran it for years. And apparently the shop closed. Some boats in here. But I don't think any of these are for sale. But let's go across the street and see what we have there. A lot of uh, a lot of car traffic for 6:20 in the morning on a Sunday, but here we go. Yeah, it's a Proline walk around, and this stood out to Doc because this was his first boat, but with an outboard. Do not climb on, please. Proline Cuttyfish. It's a 97. Call 631-7594. Do not climb on, please. We never climb on. A little bit of a dinged prop, but not in terrible condition. Not sure if this is a Mercruiser or an OMC. But let's extend the uh, stick here, take a look inside. Looks very clean and well cared for from here. Of course, I'm not climbing inside, so I'm... We'll get a better idea when we look at the selfie stick. There it is, more info, 97, Proline Cuttyfish, inboard outboard, runs good, trailer included. Asking 13,500, there's the number to call. Uh, I would have pegged this at, uh, right around that. So it was registered through last year. It's a nice looking boat. I mean, Pro Lines were the uh, very popular here in the Northeast for many years. Has nice canvas on it. I mean, somebody clearly took care of this boat. Um, you know, somebody made the point when it, in one of the other videos, runs good is a euphemism for there's something slightly wrong with it. But, you know, the engine turns over and runs, but I, I'm reading too much into that. You. You know, I'm going to take runs good, literally, meaning it runs good. And it's not a bad boat. There's an integrated swim ladder here. There's a jack here. I wonder if the 
you know, like a lot of these trailers here in the Northeast, uh, not the Rust Belt, but we get our fair share of snow and salt on the salt on the roads, and yeah, it, it rust builds up on vehicles out here. I mean, it's a nice looking boat. A little a couple scratches here, but uh, otherwise, looks like it's in good shape. All right, 13.5 for this in Aquabogue, right next to Allen Hubbard Electrical. Let's get back to the uh, the NART Honda Ridgeline, and it's a couple boats on the other main road here, way east of here. So, got about a 15 minute drive east, and uh, I think there's two more boats that I saw that we're going to check out. All right, we're back on the main road. We're on. Highway 48, the north road here in the North Fork, and there is a Grady White right in front of us to the left, on the other side of the road. So I am going to loop around if I can somewhere. I can do that right here. Check it out, it's a bay boat with a trolling motor. Looks like a Grady. Let's see what we got. And I know there's another boat up here on the right also. Two more, actually. Uh, I think two more. I actually passed another boat on the way here. And I decided not to stop and film that one. It was a rampage. But uh, maybe we'll save that one for a future video if it's still for sale. Let's see what we got here with this Grady. And here it is right up here. Where can I park here? I'm just gonna go on the grass. Got a uh, Minn Kota on it. Is that an Altera or a, it's a Riptide? Nice baby blue hull. Leave message, 134,000, a 251 Coastal, 134K. It's got to be an F300 on it, maybe a 250, but your basic layout, don't mind the grime there. It's been out here for at least a couple of weeks. Um, casting deck back here, they, these open up into seats, non-skid here if you do want to cast. Uh, live wells underneath, I'm sure, a little tackle area there. Basic seat, looks like it's got a big sim rat on it. Electronics box up there. Life jacket storage over there. We'll take a look at the engine in a second, but you can see another seat up here with a cooler, tons of storage, forward casting deck, again, non-skid, anchor locker up there. Uh, North Shore Yacht Sales, my buddy Red, who lives in Fort Myers now, sold them the trailer. Uh, I wonder what year this is. Does it say? It just says 134. We'll look at the hand and get the year. Let's see, is this a 250 or a 300? It's a 300. Yamaha F300, 18 pitch prop on it. Let's see the, the back, this boat was bottom painted. Small trim tabs on this too. Let's see if we can get the year. It's a 2018, 2018. It's a nice boat. This would be great for out here, fishing Peconic Bay. You can take this to Montauk into the ocean on a nice day you'd have no issue with this boat you see even though it's a bay boat it has decent amount of flare but it, it's not as deep uh it's closer to the water has everything 134 134 hours as well it does have radar <clears throat> some rod holders on top four more rod holders right there missed that the first time there is storage under the seat too got a little head compartment here yeah, it's not bad. I, I'm not sure about the price for a bay boat. It is a CV2 hull, as you see there. That uh, little blue sign, CV2. That's that's Grady's uh, variable dead rise hull, where it's very deep in the front to eat up the waves. It tapers off to the back to, I believe, 20 degrees. Um, yeah. And this does have a big transducer there. Uh, I'm sure brand new, this is 200 plus. I'm, or close to 200, I would guess. 
knowing that their their uh, 257 brand new is 196. Looks like it's got some rod storage on the corners too. There is some standing water there, but that's probably just the angle of the trailer. There's your battery switch. Um, it's a nice boat, and if you're looking to get on the water quick and you want to save a few thousand over a new one and you got very low hours on probably the most this and the f-150 the most reliable engines that uh, yamaha has ever built it's probably a good deal i know it's going to sound crazy 134 it also has talon uh, so this is uh this is a power pole stick that if you're in shallow water this deploys straight down hits the sand or the mud and holds you in place so you don't have to use your trolling motor. I've seen it used in Florida. It's a tremendous tool. It's almost like a, a, a anchor that's electronically controlled in the stern of the boat. A lot of boats have two of them. This one has one, but that's okay. Uh, integrated boarding ladder here too, that's nice. It's a lot of boat, a lot of, a lot of neat features on it. Again, I, I know the comments are going to be who the heck would pay 134 k for a bay boat, but the reality is, <laughs> brand new, this probably costs tens and tens of thousands of dollars more. So the only thing you probably don't get with this one is the engine warranty, but at, uh, again, 134 hours, as long as the maintenance has been done, the, these engines are as bulletproof as they get. These Yamaha have 300s, 4.2 block, uh, V6 engine, just super bulletproof nice boat let's uh let's see what we got next we got a couple more on this road or we did the last time i i drove this road see if they're still there here it is almost blew by it Woo! Came in hot there. Looks like a privateer. Some info there. Doghouse. Let's uh, check it out. All right. It does look like a privateer. It looks like a commercial boat. Let's see. It's a Steiger Craft. 1984, 23 foot Steiger Craft. 90 Merc, 2008. Uh, 8,000 bucks. Is that what they're asking? Standard Horizon uh, boat is not, I might have to jump on this boat and read that because as I get older, I can't, can't see, you know, I'm not gonna use a bad word, but yeah, very commercial layout. There's a side council with the doghouse, give you some protection. Uh, great boat for fishing the bay man i mean this is just a big open boat you can fish a ton of people on this not much storage on the boat that's uh, one observation but very simple functional layout see the big scuppers in the back there's the fuel water separator right over there on the other side of the strap um it's an 84 steiger craft a 90 horsepower mercury on it i want to say but don't quote me that this is a two-stroke Where's the hint on this? It says an 84. There's no hint on it. You can see the big, uh, the big flaps too when you're backing up or you're in the water. No water will back into the boat because uh, it does look like it's, it's very low to the water line. Uh, we'll get a better angle of the, what the description says here. So it's a 1984-23 Steigercraft with an 08 Merc 90 EFI. So again, I presume... I presume that's a, a two-stroke. It's got a Garmin uh, eight-inch uh, GPS and depth finder, standard horizon radio, electric pot hauler compatible. Boat is well kept and is in great shape. Lots of new work done. Eight grand. Uh, now, is that eight grand or 18 grand? You tell me, boy. There's the number two, but uh, could be 18, could be 28, could be 8. I don't know. I can't tell, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, if this is 8 grand, this is a steal because this is just a, a very simple, trailerable, great looking boat uh, that you could take fishing. So we're not sure about the price. And it's a Steiger Craft. These have a lifetime hull warranty built here on Long Island, legendary reputation. 
Um, three rod holders here too. A couple of rod holders on either side. Some uh, weight holders over there, as you can see, where you want to put some lead. Uh, this might be the only, this is the only storage and up there for your anchor as well. But, uh, you know, you bring a cooler, you bring a couple of, uh, a couple tackle bags with you. You still have more than enough room to fish. And at least the driver has a little protection as they're driving. Uh, yeah. I like this a lot, but I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, quirky utilitarian boats like this. And it does have a Garmin, uh, Garmin radar too. All right, so this is either 8,000, 18,000, or 28,000. Oh, and they must think we're in South Florida. They got the uh, trailer locked down. I'm kidding for those folks in Florida. We do know that boat thefts are a problem there. Uh, all right, I think there's one more boat that we're gonna check out. And we'll uh, check back in in a minute. And here is, I believe, the last boat we're going to look at. Could be another Pro Line. Uh, still on Route 48. This boat is literally just a maybe an eighth of a mile west of that Steiger we saw. I don't know. A little sketchy dirt road here. Let's pull up to this, see what we got. It's like a family of birds living on the transom there. Or a crow. All right, well, I already see an outdrive missing. All right, let's see what this is. All right, this is a tiara, 20 foot tiara. Does not look like it has an outdrive. The tiaras, for those of you that don't know, very similar to Pursuits, at some point the companies merged. Uh, but here's a look at the inside. It's a cuddy cabin, looks like an older boat. Let's look at the description, see how much information it has. It's a 20 foot Tierra overnighter, bimini top trailer, new US uh, Coast Guard approved gas tank, new shift cables, bellows, gimbal, bearing, replaced hydraulic lines and trim cylinders, replaced trim motor, note, new manifolds, risers, and spacers from Lighthouse Marine, one alpha drive overhauled and spare alpha drive, both with props. So they're not there, but they will come with the boat, rebuilt carburetor. Uh, Replaced alternator, uh, starters, flywheel, engine coupler, flywheel bearing. Wow, a lot of info here. No engine. Okay. Uh, 3800 bucks. We'll skip all that. Automatic bilge pump, fuel pump. Looks like they did a lot of work. They overhauled this boat. I wonder what the backstory is. Uh, so 3800 bucks, but no engine. So... Yeah, you, you would need to put an engine on it. Nice bimini on it, though. Little, you know, it's an older boat. It's a little scratchy, dinged up, but the, it's still smooth. Let's see. It is an 81. An 81. Teak, uh, teak little swim platform here. Integrated boarding ladder. Uh, Looks like somebody put a lot more money than they're asking for on this boat, but it's definitely a project boat, even though a lot of the things have been replaced on it. Clearly, you're gonna need to sink some money in an engine. And I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, if you're not gonna buy it, put the engine in and resell it, because I, unless you have a spare engine sitting around, I'm not sure you're gonna have uh, enough margin there to make it worth your while. Definitely a project boat, but a nice looking one. I, I always like the lines of these Tierras. Um, it's just a over, overhead shot I can't see inside of what the inside looks like. Again, 3,800 bucks. All right, let's get back to the car. I'll offer you my thoughts. All right, we're leaving a little gravel dirt road here. Headed back on 48 to head home. Let's not get hit by this car that just turned. I don't know what you guys thought. A lot of boats all of a sudden. Um, look, clearly, if it were me and money was not an object, that Grady would be uh, uh, an interesting boat. It, it had everything on it. It had the power pole, the talon, 
good electronics, radar, a lot of functionality. Would be a great bay boat that you could take out deep if you needed to on a calm day. Wouldn't go out on a day like today where it's really blowing. Um, but 134k, which again, people are gonna scoff at that price, but it is what it is. That's it's a Grady White, and that's what they go for, and they have a big market. People, you know, do not blink at those prices, surprisingly. Um, and then the, the other boats, for better or worse, the, I, I, that Steiger was really nice too. That's another boat. You know, if money was not an object, or if, if money was an object, that would be a good alternative. It, it had a lot of room, not a lot of storage. Um, but I wasn't sure about that price, whether it's 18,000, 8,000, or 28,000. My gut is telling me 18,000. Uh, perhaps I will text the owner and see if I can get a, a, a price on it. And I'll include that during the part where we go over it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, which would you pick and why, or none of the above? I'm presuming a lot of you might say that. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.